This is one of them. Taxis parked in what looks like a lake. Uh, then there's this. The uh, subway tunnels flooded. I want to bring in our Jason Carroll. Jason, where, where are you right now? What are you seeing? I'm on, the, I'm on one side of the Greensboro Bridge, the Manhattan side, and I've, what I've been doing all day, Anderson, is just trying to get a gauge of what it's been like for commuters. Take a look at what we've been dealing with and seeing all day long. This is how a lot of people, thousands, are getting into the city, getting to work. They're hoofing it. They're, they're just on foot. It is the only way a lot of the folks we've been talking to say they've been able to get where they need to go. There are some buses running, but this is what you have to deal with as well. Right across the street there, Anderson, lines and lines of people waiting to get on some of the buses to get to where you need to go. We've heard stories of people waiting hours to get on a bus. As you know, no subway service, uh, no train service. So commuters are basically doing what they can to get to work. I want to introduce, bring in Demetra Baladimas. Tell me about what your day was like trying to get where you needed to go. Well, I usually take the Long Island Railroad into Penn and then transfer to the subway. So this morning I got up, you know, gave myself an extra hour, hour and a half, um, got a ride to another part of Queens, jumped on an express bus, um, tried to get into the city, and it's just been chaos. I mean, it was like a slug moving over the bridge. And so this morning, if you had a time in, how long did it take you it to get... close to four hours. Four hours yeah. to get into work today. From a 50-minute commute. And so now I know you're heading home, heading back to Queens. Yeah. How long? What are you going to do? You're going to... I well, I mean, I left on foot, so I'm going to go over the bridge and uh, call my brother-in-law again, who dropped me off this morning uh, at the bus stop and see if he loves me enough to come and get me. Well, I'm, I'm sure he does. Demetri, I want to thank you very much for thank joining you. us. And thank Anderson, basically, this is what a lot of people have been dealing with. We spoke to some people earlier today down at the Brooklyn Bridge, talked to them about their experience. I followed a couple along. They tried to get someone to share a taxi with them. That didn't work. Another driver pulled up. He said he was going to charge them $50 just to take them across the Brooklyn Bridge. They said they weren't going to do that.